Hi there, I'm Shy, and this is Shy's Park. I'm going to be doing a lot of zoo-based Let's Plays on this channel, so if you're interested in that, don't forget to subscribe. It's free for you, and I appreciate it. So let's get started on our episode 2 of our Dinosaur Dig Zoo Tycoon Dinosaur Park. In the last episode, we got started here. We have two exhibits. We had a little bit of excitement with our Allosaurus, because I had forgotten the correct type of fencing to use and he escaped a couple of times so we've corrected that with the right kind of fencing and hopefully we can get a little bit more work done in this episode so over here we have our second exhibit that we got started on at the very end of the last episode with our Codipteryx Codipteryx yes that's a very hard word to pronounce I did have to look it up so it is Codipteryx these little Codipteryx. They're insectivores, so we shouldn't have to worry about them trying to escape through this fencing here that I've used. They're a little small right now, but they should grow. They're still in the baby stage. So let's make sure that our exhibits for these two are still suitable, which it looks like they are. They're hungry, but we do have some food here, so hopefully they'll eat. And let's check on our Allosaurus over here. We have people looking and taking pictures, so that's good. Allosaurus, his exhibit is still suitable. Looks like he's doing pretty well, so we can start getting started on some more stuff. Uh, we had put in a, one restroom and some little vending machines to get started. And we have one maintenance worker and one scientist hired. So here's our maintenance worker. He should be going to clean out that trash can. So let's zoom out a little bit here. Let's make some more pathways here. We don't have any pathways going to our other exhibit over here. So let's see. We were working with the concrete path. So let's go ahead and bring that over here so that our visitors can come see these ones. Eventually, we will be adding some more decorations and whatnot uh, so that our zoo looks a little bit nicer. I'm going to go ahead and remove this pathway here. Uh, we can redo that. Okay, so let's add some stuff. I'm going to go up to all so that we have all of our items here. Put my little info back there that I like to put. Maybe put some more benching here so that people can sit. There also should be, if it's available yet, which I don't see it, so we might have to wait a little bit. Oh, no, nope, it's right here. A zoo map. I like to put that. You know, a couple of them here near the entrance. People can check that out, see where they're going. And let's put this nice fountain here. Make it a little bit aesthetically pleasing. We have some research and stuff coming along. Um, I had maxed all that out to get that our research and our uh, funding, conservation, get that all done quickly so that we have everything available. put some pathway around our fountain so that people can walk around it. Okay, so we have our people now coming over here to see our other exhibit. Let's see if we have any little uh, things. Let's we can put a little popcorn machine around here so that people can start purchasing things bring in a little bit more money for our zoo put that maybe right here on the corner
And we'll probably put a little garbage can out here. Maybe extend that pathway a little bit up here. We'll put some more stuff there eventually. So let's go over here. Seems like I missed some leveling, so let's see if we can level this little thing here. So if we go and uh, click this particular one, it um, will level cliffs and whatnot, so make our little area bigger. And then now just bring that down so that we have a level area to play with. And let's see what we can put over here. So we'll go into our creatures and go down to the dinosaur dig since we're working particularly with dinosaurs right now. So we have an Allosaurus and we have our Codiparix. So this is the selection that we have available right now. So let's think what would be good to put in this little back corner. Hmm. It's not a very big area so I might leave that for something else and maybe we'll go up here and start something up here. So let's see what dinosaurs we have available. We have our Camp Camptosaurus, we have our Platyosaurus, we have Stegosaurus, Gallimimus. So let's see, I know the Plesiosaurus or Platyosaurus Needs a rather big exhibit, so maybe we'll do go ahead and do that one. We need so let's go ahead and make some exhibit. We'll use the electric fencing for him, although they're herbivores, so they really shouldn't try to escape. So maybe we'll do this one. Since we have this one available now, this reinforced concrete and iron bar exhibit fence. It says that it's extremely strong and useful for containing very large and strong animals. So let's say we'll try and get that to work. So we'll just bring that out here. We're gonna, we will use that little corner there so we don't want to block it completely off. So well maybe we'll come out a little bit with our exhibit. So we'll need quite some room for that platyosaurus. They are quite large. Okay, so now it says that our exhibit has been built. It put our little entrance way back there in the corner. I think I might move that a little bit. We'll probably maybe want to hire another scientist now that we're going to have three exhibits. So, the Platyosaurus says he likes the deciduous forest and the Glossipterus tree. So let's go into our things and see if we do have that. Yep, there's the tree that we need so we can get started on his exhibit. So let's find our deciduous forest. There we go. So we're just gonna replace all of this rainforest and a little bit of brownstone that we have with this deciduous forest train because that's what our dinosaur will want. Okay, so then we will put a little bit of fresh water in here because he'll need some water to drink. And then we can start adding some of the trees. And now I've seen some people play the game and they just kind of put like all the trees in a corner. But that's, you know, at a, at a real zoo you wouldn't see just all of the trees in the corner. So I kind of place them around, trying to make it look like a actual habitat for our animals and then we will need some rocks they will ask for rocks so for the rocks we're going to go back up to the all and use some of our just regular gray rocks these particular ones are liked by you know all the animals 
instead of these, you know, specific ones that go for the desert or, you know, for aquatic animals. Got some more stuff being completed. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and hire another scientist. We'll just drop him out there. And then we'll go ahead and put one of our dinosaurs in. So we're going to try a platyosaurus. We can see that that leg egg is nice and large, so this is going to be quite a large dinosaur. Um, we might actually have to make this exhibit a little bit bigger for him, but we will see. So we have it zoomed in a little bit. Let's zoom out and see what our scientist went off to. See what a maintenance worker is doing. He's just monitoring the zoo from way out here, so I'm just going to stick him back way over here. Okay, well, while we're waiting for that to hatch, let's uh, extend our pathways over here. I think what I'll do is use this little back corner to make a little food court um, and put some stuff that back there for the guests to do. Okay, so we're working with the concrete uh, pathway. I like to try and keep it the same um, for the most part around the zoo. Keep with the same kind of theme. So we'll extend this out here, bring a little area up here for the guests to come and see. And while we're thinking about it, we can go ahead and add our little information plaque like I like to put. Okay, so our scientist is tending to our platyosaurus there. While uh, he's doing that, I think I'm going to put a little bit of a... Put some stuff down back there for our... For our um, little area back there that we're going to make. So I'm just going to use some asphalt path to make, you know, a little designated area for our little food court that we're going to put back here. So we'll just fill that in with our asphalt pathway. And this is kind of a large area for just a food court, so we might add a little bit of extra stuff too. So let's see what we have available so far. Let's see, we looks like we have an ice cream shop, we have a hot dog shop, a drink station. It's a kid's dino gift shop. We can probably put that back here in the corner. That would be nice. Fill in that back corner there. Okay, so let's put some little food places there. Put a little drink one in the corner, put a little hot dog shop. And the ice cream shop here. We will get some more stuff that will still be coming available. Um, things come out at different intervals so that, you know, you have some different things. You don't have access to everything all at once. Uh, looks like since we're extending our zoo a little bit and we're going to be adding this area back here, I'm going to hire us another maintenance worker so that we have some more ground covered. Oh look, our Allosaurus looks like he's got quite a bit bigger. Let's zoom in on him there. He's grown up quite a bit. So let's see if he's still happy with this. And it's telling us that it's not big enough for him. So see, as our dinosaurs grow, sometimes we need to make these exhibits bigger for them. So let's zoom out back. Well, back in a little bit. So we have all this space back here we can probably extend for him. So let's do that before he gets unhappy. And since we learned before, we're going to use the electrified fence. We'll go ahead and extend this. We'll extend it all the way out here. That might be a little bit big, but maybe we could add another Allosaurus in there too. So as you see, it made it a separate exhibit. So what we'll have to do is go ahead and take these pieces out and then that will um, put our exhibits together which it'll ask us if we want to merge these exhibits and yes we do so we're going to go ahead and delete 
this stuff. A Platyosaurus has hatched. Um, but let's see. Now that we've added all this extra space back here, I'm sure that our Allosaurus is going to need some more stuff. Yeah, see his suitability of his exhibit has gone down. So we don't have enough grass or fresh water. So let's add some of that real quick. Because uh, we definitely want to get over to our Platyosaurus that's just hatched. Because there's probably some things that he's going to want. So let's add some more fresh water back here. I don't like where I put that. So let's change that. Let's put it back here. Because again, like um, in the last video where we had some trouble having things blocked off. We don't want to do that. Um, we want our scientists to be able to access the entire exhibit. So, I think I'm going to level this little bit here. Oh, that's not how I want to do it. I want it to match the rest. Because um, I think I might move his little house, because I think that that might be... might be causing problems there. So let's see if I can just move the house without actually having to delete it. Which I'm not sure. We'll come back to that because I want to get over to that Platyosaurus. So let's put some grass down. Uh, I'm sure we'll soon find out if our scientist is having trouble. So let's see. We're still getting some... Oh, nope. Now we're getting some unhappy faces, so let's make sure we keep getting all of the... So, let's see. Let's click on him again, see how things are going. See, he's getting quite unhappy there. We want him to be happy. There's not enough rainforest, so let's add a little bit more rainforest. Rainforest there. You can hear him growling in the background. He's not quite happy. Let's see. It says it's well suited now, so we'll see. What is our suitability? 84. So that's, you know, not that great. His happiness is down to 45, but um, let's go over to our Platyosaurus and see if he gets any, you know, happy while we're waiting. Oh, our Cotopoteryx have grown a little bit larger as well. Um, but we'll come back to them. Let's go to our Platyosaurus see how he's doing. So yeah, he's uh, not too happy. It looks like the suitability is only 78. So he definitely needs some more stuff. So there's too much deciduous. We need some grass. Um, there's too much rainforest. So I must not have cleared all of the rainforest. And he wants some more fresh water. And he's going to need an exhibit. So let's see. Or what kind of housing we can give him. So we'll go to our little animals tab. And our animal shelters. Go down here to the bottom where our dinosaur shelters are going to be. Let's try the cave, see if he likes the cave. So we'll just put our cave right there. We've got a little happy face, so that's good. So he likes the cave. Um, let's see, so yes, we need to put some grass. So we'll go here, get some grass. Put some grass around for him. Oh, and we're getting some red faces. Oh, his happiness is going down into the red, which is really bad. Because um, it is hard to come back from that. So let's try, we will try. We may end up just having to get rid of him and start again with another Platyosaurus. So, but we're going to try not to do that. Try not to do that. Oh, but he's getting very unhappy. Okay, too much grass, too much rainforest, not enough deciduous. So, let's put some more deciduous down. Here's our deciduous. Okay, let's see where we may have some rainforest. see what it says now. Too much grass. Allosaurus is not happy. Oh no. We're not doing too good with our dinosaurs here. Oh, his happiness is zero. I don't know if there's going to be any coming back from that. Let's see what it says. Well, it says that it's well suited, but our suitability is still down at 83. So let's add some more um, trees. See if that does anything. Deciduous trees. Okay, he's liking 
some more trees so we'll keep adding trees here happy faces so that's good let's try some rocks okay so he's liking the rocks and we're being told again that our allosaurus is not happy so let's see check on our okay his happiness is going up a little bit and his suitability is at 98 so that's that's pretty good so we'll come back to him and see if he uh, does any better Oh, and another thing with dinosaurs, when they are unhappy, they can destroy parts of their exhibits. Which is what he has done here, and he's very unhappy, and he's very hungry. So, and he does not like the rubble. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this rubble. Dinosaurs are very difficult to do. And we're going to remove this dino cave, because I don't know if there's a way of moving it but we need to make him happy so let's go to our animals we'll put a new dino cave in for him to make him happy because he's gonna want one we'll put it over here in the back and that should give them room to move around um as you can see he does not look very happy growling at us uh, so let's add some more now that we've taken away that rubble we're gonna need to add some more foliage for him so let's see he liked that fern bush from the rainforest so let's go to our rainforest stuff and see if we can find that bush here we have fern bush so we'll add some more fern bushes in here for him okay our scientist is coming in to clean up hopefully he'll leave him some more food too since he was hungry. His happiness is starting to come up a little bit, although he's not real happy. Which means he might go about destroying more of his exhibit here soon. Okay, let's see. The suitability is at 94, so what? His exhibit is fairly suitable for him now. Hopefully he can start getting happier again. Uh. Um, if you play this game and you've played with, you know, the regular animals, lions and stuff, you'll know that they are, are fairly easy to keep happy. Uh, and uh, dinosaurs are a little bit more of a challenge, so we are dealing with those challenges. Let's click on him again. He's still not very happy, and now we have some... Okay, so apparently we have some more... Up oh, there it is, our rubble, so let's remove the rubble and we're at least getting into the yellow here so that's oh and now back to the red and we're not doing very good with our allosaurus here now that he is full grown he is quite needy so there's more rubble that he does not like let's look around for that where else oh now we get sick 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 cotopoterix so let's go over here. Where's our sick one? Okay, so this one is sick. Where's our... I'm thinking that maybe we're going to hire another scientist. So obviously the two that we have are not handling, handling their job very well. So let's go ahead and just set one down in here. See if he can help our Allosaurus. We've seen that one of them was coming in here. Hopefully he's going over to help our... Heal him over there. So let's go back to our Allosaurus who is still unhappy running around destroying things as big dinosaurs will do. So we're gonna remove the rubble again. And see, I don't see any more rubble. But we're going to need to put more fern bushes in for him. So let's go back to our foliage and our fern bushes. And add those. Let's 
see how he's doing now. His happiness is going up a little bit. And his suitability for his exhibit is quite high at 96, so... He really just needs to get happy here. It's up here, and we're in the green, so this is, this is good news. We're going up here, so let's see if we can add any more things to make him a little bit happy. Maybe put another fern bush. We're still getting some green happy faces. So that's good. We'll add maybe another... Oh, no. Nope. It's too much. Too much fern bush. Maybe we can add a couple of rocks that might... Yes, he's liking rocks. So put some more rocks over here. Don't want to block anything, so maybe over here. And that's too much rock, so let's go back on the rock a little bit. So now it should be really, really suitable here at 97%. And his happiness is now in the green area, so hopefully he's going up. And hopefully he won't destroy any more of his exhibit. And hopefully our scientists are doing their job. And as you can see, we're starting to get a whole lot of guests here. So we really kind of want to open up our zoo area here. Get, um, there are a lot of hungry guests. Yes, okay. So let's, uh, get access more to this food court over here because we're going to need to feed our guests. So here, now they can get over to this food court, even though some of them have already made their way over here. And let's kind of move this around, get a different view here. And bring this along here, they'll be able to see our Gladiosaurus a little bit better there. Okay. So, let's see if we have any more food things available to us. I know we had a notification there that some more things were available. And we do here. We have a burger stand we can put in here. And we have a pizza shop. You'll see too that they'll start to add some like fancier shops. They're just the, you know the same thing, only a little bit fancier. And I'm sure it, you know makes a little bit more money. So let's change our view again here so we can get a good view of that. Things we're gonna need to add some areas for them to sit here. So see if we can find some picnic tables. So we'll add some picnic tables here. I think once we're done with this food court, it'll probably be a good time to stop again. See, with dinosaurs, they're just really needy. It gets, takes a lot of work to get them, make them happy. So, uh, it takes a little bit longer to make a zoo like this. Keep these dinosaurs all happy. See, their platyosaurus is still happy. It looks like our codipteryx, codipteryx are running around. They're quite happy. Let's go check on our Allosaurus again. Yep, his happiness is way up at 100%. That's where, that's where we want it. That's really good. Hopefully he stays that way. Allosaurus. Okay, so we'll see our guests are making their way over here to eat. We'll go ahead and add some garbage things. We might need to put another drink, something or other around for them since they're thirsty. So we got some garbage cans we'll put around here. Maybe we can put a bathroom over this way for them. Get a family restroom. It's a little bit larger than the other one we had. Maybe put it here. some pathway to that. We we'll need to turn it around so that we can actually see it. There we go. And maybe we'll make some pathway around it. There we go. Okay, so let's see if we have any little drink stations, kind of like our popcorn station that we could put maybe down this way for them so that they're not thirsty. Move these around so we can see. Well, we got the vending machines. I don't know. Um, that's all. Oh, we have a lemonade crust ice stand. Hmm. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like we have any little 
little drink stands like that. But we can go ahead and put a drink drink stand is over here. Let's put one over here for them. Because uh, we are covering a lot of area on our zoo here. So we may want to have. So we'll just go ahead and we'll put like a drink stand over on this side. Maybe put a hot dog stand with that. Just have, you know, a little bit of a food and place for them to stop. Even though we don't even seem to have that many guests on this side, probably because they're going over to the other side for the food and stuff. So we'll go ahead and add a garbage can there. Maybe add some benches on the corners here for people to sit at since this is just a smaller area. Turn the bench around. We can put one there. Turn this one around. We can put one there. Okay. Our zoo rating is 82. That's pretty good. Our guest happiness is 85. Um, how is our Allosaurus doing? It says he's happy, but I do see a little bit of rubble there, so we're going to remove that real quick. And then I think this is probably a good place to start. We seem to have started fulfilling our guest needs. Looks like they're over there eating and drinking. We got some happy dinosaurs. We got one more exhibit up and running. Uh, let's see, has our platyosaurus grown at all? No. Okay, he's still tiny there. His happiness is at 100. So that's pretty good. So I think this is probably a good place to stop this episode. Um, so thank you again for watching. If you've stuck around for the whole episode um, and go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to finish watching me try to keep my dinosaurs happy um, and if you'd like to see more zoo tycoon and um, I will see you next time bye